Hi, Mark Savage here, and welcome to my channel. A relatively quick video today. Why? Well, it's pretty simple. I want to get to the facts, and the wife's away for another hour. <laughs> today, handbrake adjustment. Okay, two handbrakes you have, and the adjustment site. Okay, you've got two types, caliper and shoes. The caliper one, generally, don't really have problems with it, you can just change the actual pads. But like this car, that was hard to say, like this car on a BMW, you've actually got an outer disc and inner shoes. So if your handbrake does this, before it actually catches, it's actually an MOT failure and dangerous because if you're on a hill and you pull a handbrake up and you're going to pull out, you're going to roll backwards. So a simple fix today. Let me show you. Very, very few tools. A jack, use your car jack. I've got an impact driver, you can use the actual car spanner there. A couple of chocks of wood just to stop the damn thing from rolling away. And this is the only important thing you need. A screwdriver, a good quality long reach screwdriver. Get a short one, it will still work the same. Locking up. And a car, BMW 1 Series, but it can be any car. As I explained, the caliper one sits like that, and you've got just a disc that goes around, and you, you can brake and use the handbrake, use the same system. But the one I'm talking about today has got a disc on the outside and inner hub. Now, shoes on rear brakes, front brakes have been forever. It's really, really old style. A lot of them advanced now with electronic handbrake and so on, but this is the old style. And basically, what you've got is a simple pair of shoes, and when you pull the handbrake, it does this. What happens over time is that you wear them and it starts doing this and doesn't catch. There's a simple adjustment that opens the top again and then it starts catching again. It's as simple as that. What we're looking for is a tiny little cog. Now, all you've got to do is take the wheel off, which I've just showed you the tool to do that, and then find out where it is, which again, I'm going to show you pretty much where it is, and then a screwdriver, and it's a little cog, little teeth, and you just go clockwise down. Remember that word, clockwise. People think, well, in or out, you don't know. Clockwise either side, down this side, up the other side. Really, really simple. Let's quickly show you what we're talking about, because I talk too much and people just skip me anyway. A cushion for your knees is optional, if an old fart like me. So, on my last video, copper grease, do you remember that? That's why this wheel has come off so, so easy. And again, pop the one to the car, optional. All I do every single time. It keeps it out of the way. Stops the car falling on you. And here we are, nice and simple. Torch and glass, also optional. <laughs> okay, you need the handbrake off now and out of gear. Hence, chocking the wood up at the front, under the wheels, jacking it up. Do it in that order, will ya? Don't just try and jack it up and then mess it. Chocks at the front, jack it up, wheel off, handbrake off then. You still got the other side, stops it rolling down. If you're on a real steep hill, you know, try and keep it on flat or get on the drive. I've got a slight incline on here, that's why I'm doing this. This is the tool. Now, you could, you could take the caliper off and then just under that bolt and take this off and see what here. But in here are two little shoes. So all they are, which I showed you before on many other videos, there, these two flat, is roughly what you're looking for, okay? It's just behind here. From the torch and the screwdriver, we can see. And that's not bad, that's bang on there. So that's what you're looking for, roughly this size here. I can't show you the camera, it will not show you, okay? Because I can point that in there and you're not going to be able to see. Literally, torch, pop the screwdriver in, small little turns and you can feel it ticking down as you're going along. What you're trying to do is get this to get slightly stiff and then go back one tick and then you move to the other side. 50 to 80 pounds in the garage, if the shoes have got to be changed, which they don't often, because you're only using it literally to pull the handbrake on. On the old vehicles, using it as a 30, 70 sort of thing, so you have to change them every couple of three times of them. But this one's simple. Pull it down, get stiff, tuck it back a little bit so it's still free. Do the other side, you'd have about three clicks to get an MOT, three to four maximum. Job done. I mean, it's going to cost 200 pound odd, up to, I suppose, to change the actual pads as well in the garage. It's going to save 50 to 80 pounds as it is. Quick, simple as that. Let me show you what it's going to be like with the handbrake. So you're just after, give that a tiny bit of resistance. Remember, the wheel's going to be on there as well. Brake dust in there. Don't worry too much, but there you go. So it's a little cog. You'll see it when you put it there, and that's roughly where we want to be. 
Put your torch down there, have a look and you'll see a little tiny cog. It doesn't feel like you're catching it sometimes. Try the bottom and then you push it. You'll know it's working. From how free that was a minute ago, I can tell that's a lot better. You still need it free though. Don't jam it on, because you're just going to get really hot round here. Wear the damn thing out. I need to replace it. We're going to replicate the same thing on the other side, and then we're going to show you the handbrake. Maybe dirty, but again, roughly flat. This side, maybe going clockwise. I've seen clever people actually do it with a tire on, you know, the wheel on. Because, end of the day, it's something a little bit further out. As long as you get the screwdriver in and flick it up, you'll feel it and you'll feel it flick. You'll notice. Now, listen, just an ever so slightly, remember the wheel going to be on there, ever so slight bit of uh, tension on there. That's all you need. And that's it. As simple as that. Not bad, eh? Now, watch. One, two, three. There you go. So you can watch the beginning of the video where it was right the way up. It was actually hitting this little bit here. It was going so high, it was hitting that. But that's that's much, much better. And the car now is not going anywhere. As simple as that. Even novice, 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 can do that with under an hour. As I said, you can do it with a tire one. You need to know where the damn thing was and a good torch and a good pair of eyes, which I haven't got. A bit dusty in there. I mean, if you really want to do a pucker job, you take the caliper off, you take it out, you blow it out, clean it all up, etc. But I didn't need to do that, really. I just wanted to get on with it. I could have done that when I'd done the speed sensor, couldn't I? Because I did that the other day. <laughs> so I should have adjusted it then. It's all in the same area. But so, so simple. That little cog. Once you see it, you'll know it and you'll feel it and you'll flick it. Can be a bit cumbersome but you'll know it's working. You're just after where it's just grinding. You do not want it where it's locked up because you're gonna get red hot and you're gonna burn the damn things out. I've got an F350, someone's done that because of foot pedal. Moving on quickly. Thank you so much. Please like, share and subscribe. Keep an eye on my other channel. Nope. Thank you so much. Keep an eye out for... Ugh. Right, nice and simple one. Thank you so much for watching. Please like, share and subscribe. Some more videos coming out, especially on my big truck. And I'm going to be at the Museum of Power on the 3rd of September. But I'll do a video of that anyway with a big F350. Take care of yourselves on the road. Bye-bye. Honestly, that is so much better. Don't forget the safety parts of it, which is make sure that you've torched your nuts on the wheels, put the locking nut back in your car, and then test it. Obviously, go for a little drive and test it, because otherwise, you know, it's catching. But I know that's perfect. Four clicks, MOT pass. You're not going to roll back anymore job is done thank you very much mark savage is away and oh uh, don't know what i'm gonna say there i really didn't know what i was gonna say <laughs> take care of yourselves on the road check out my other videos on my channel uh third of september i'm gonna be at the power museum in molden the museum of power get it right as well i'm gonna say now bye bye